Hello everyone, my name is Asisi Pombingeleli and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to be answering a grade 8 natural sciences June exam revision booklet. So this booklet is based on term 1 and term 2 content in preparation for June exams. And these questions are from previous June exam um, question papers. So let us go through the questions, guys. We are going to be answering 10 multiple choice questions, 5 terminology questions, and 5 match column A, column B questions. First question, what are the 5 levels of environmental organizations from the simplest to the most complicated? From the simplest to the most complicated, what's the correct answer? The correct answer will be D. Organism, population, community, ecosystem, and biosphere. Remember, guys, that you need to be answering these questions also on your side. You're more than welcome to pause the video and answer the questions, and then you check the answers. Please also indicate how many questions you got correctly in the comments section. One, one, two. The reason for boiling a green leaf in alcohol during the test for starch um, is to do what? Is it to break down the cell walls, extract the chlorophyll, remove starch, or stop metabolic processes in the leaf? The correct answer, guys, is that we are actually boiling the leaf in alcohol or ethanol to extract or remove the chlorophyll. 113. A certain plant requires moisture, oxygen, carbon dioxide, light, and minerals in order to survive. This statement shows that living organisms depend on what? Biotic components, abiotic components, symbiotic relationships, or carnivore herbivore relationships. So 113 is basically telling us that the correct answer is uh, option B. A certain plant, this is a biotic factor. Um, it requires moisture. Um, oxygen, carbon dioxide, light, and minerals, all of them are, are biotic factors. So this is obviously biotic, and it depends on abiotic in order for it to survive. Yes, that's correct, abiotic components or factors. 114, the following is not an example of a microorganism. B, not an example. Mm. Yeah, of a microorganism. Yeah, 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 yeah. Someone may argue that. But yeah, mushroom is the correct answer for the options given. Which one of the following statements is false? 115. Malaria is caused by bacteria. Or microorganisms cannot be seen with the naked eye. An example of a waterborne disease is cholera. Washing hands and sterilizing can prevent the spread of diseases. So this is correct. This is true, this is true, and this is obviously false. So A is a false statement. Malaria is not caused by a bacteria. It is actually caused by a protist. Right? Uh, 116. Jade wants to test whether the gas produced during an experiment is carbon, di is carbon dioxide gas. Which one of the following reactants can Jade use to test for the presence of carbon dioxide gas? Is it copper hydroxide, milky white lime water, clear lime water, or an iodine solution? 116, Jade can use clear lime water in order to basically test for the presence of carbon dioxide gas because it will become milky. So the clear lime water changes, um, color it becomes whitish, milky, cloudy color uh, in the presence of carbon dioxide. 117, which one of the following symbols represent hydrogen? Ah, that's simple, simple stuff, simple stuff. Protons and neutrons are responsible for the what of an atom. Protons and neutrons are responsible for the mass of an atom. Which one of the following is not an example of a compound? We need to remind ourselves what a compound is. 
So which one of the following is not an example of a compound? Remember when we talk about a compound, guys, we are basically talking about two or more elements. Elements, right? So let's see. Here we have hydrogen and um, oxygen. Here we have oxygen, copper, chlorine, carbon, yeah, carbon and oxygen. So the one that does not have two or more elements is B. 119 is B. Oxygen, that is one element. You're just having the two there because it's a diatomic element. Um, yeah, I think just to emphasize two or more different elements, actually, two or more different elements. Sea water is an example of what? Sea water is an example of a mixture. Okay, terminology. Remember to pause the video, guys. Try and um, answer the questions. Then obviously check with my answers to compare. Terminology, you just need one. Uh, you basically just give him one word or term here. When all the individuals of a species die out, that is extinction. Extinction. A type of food sugar produced by plants during photosynthesis, that is obviously glucose. Body covering that makes an animal hard to see, that is camouflage. Camouflage. A live animal that is hunted. Simple stuff. The introduction of a substance which can contribute to an imbalance in an ecosystem. That is pollution. Okay. We then move to matching column A and column B. So remember to pause the video, guys. So a proton, let's see. The statement that matches... Uh, 311, that is C, positively charged subatomic particle, so that is C. Then an atom, that is F, the smallest building block of matter, so we've used this one also, that is F. An electron, that is a negatively charged subatomic particle, that is B. Then the molecule, is two or more atoms chemically bonded, that is E. Then density, mass per unit, volume, that is H. Remember to like this video, guys. Share it with your classmates and your schoolmates. Comment down below. And also, please kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel. All the best.